welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing so very well. Today I am so excited because I am back with another week of vegan lunches video. I absolutely love filming these ones for you guys and I know that you receive them very well and that makes me very grateful. So thank you. But yeah, basically in this video you're going to find seven easy vegan lunch ideas and I love making these because I want you to feel inspired and feel creative and try new things in the kitchen. I am certainly someone who is a creature of habit and I like to eat a lot of the same food. But watching videos like these inspires me to mix it up a little bit in the kitchen and I hope that it inspires you to do the same. With that all being said, all of the full ingredients will be down in the description box below and make sure to tag me on Instagram if you do decide to make any of these recipes at home I would love to see them and I would love to share them. Let's get into the video this is a week of vegan lunches and I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty so for lunch number one we are making a nourish bowl and with nourish bowls I always encourage you to be creative put basically everything that you like that makes you feel nourished into one bowl personally I started with some pumpkin as well as some sweet potato and I roasted this with a little bit of olive oil as well as some Himalayan pink salt I roast this in the oven for about 40 minutes. It'll depend on your oven and your temperature and all of that kind of stuff. And then I also decided to add in some tempeh. This is chickpea tempeh, my personal favorite. And I always like to add some form of like protein into my nourish bowls. This tempeh I just coated in nutritional yeast, salt, and a little bit of olive oil. And then I put it into a frying pan and I really simply just fried it until it was crispy on every side. After that, I then chopped up a whole lot of kale. This was about half of a bunch. And then I fried this again in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt in my frying pan until it was nice and crispy. Then in a bowl, I put some spinach, I put some cos lettuce, and then I also added in my kale. Oh, I love kale so much. Then I added in my crispy chickpea tempeh as well as my roasted pumpkin and then also my roasted sweet potatoes as well. Again, you can add so many vegetables here, whatever you like. I also added in some lemon to squeeze over the top as well as a dressing and some sesame seeds. I also would add avocado to this if I had any on hand that day. So yeah. That's lunch number one. Lunch number two is a barbecue jackfruit pizza, which kind of seems ironic with this frame of, <laughs> of broccoli, but I promise we'll get into the jackfruit part. So I started by chopping up a whole bunch of broccoli. Personally, again, with pizza, you can pretty much add anything that you want onto a pizza. And with today's, I was basically just putting whatever I had in the fridge onto a pizza base. And I had a whole lot of broccoli. With this broccoli, I fried it in a frying pan with some olive oil, as well as some salt and some nutritional yeast. I like to cook some of my vegetables before I put them onto a pizza, just so that they're nice and well cooked through. This is just a pizza base that I got from my local supermarket. I just put some tomato paste on the base, then I put on some fresh basil as well as some fresh garlic, absolutely delicious. Then I also put on some kale. This is about half of a bunch of kale that is still fresh. Then I put on my fried broccoli as well as some Amazonia Smoky Barbecue Tender Jack, one of my favorite products that I use in my cooking. I baked this in the oven for about 15 minutes, chopped it up, and then I served it with a coconut yogurt dressing on top as well as some sesame seeds. Lunch number three is a peanut butter acai bowl, something that you have seen on my channel before. In this, I had some soy milk as well as some Amazonia vanilla protein and some peanut butter. Then I added in some frozen bananas, frozen raspberries, as well as one packet of acai pure. I really like adding peanut butter through my bowl because it make, makes it really nice and thick and creamy. So if you've not tried adding a nut butter into your smoothie bowl blend before, I really recommend trying it out. It also keeps me a lot fuller for longer, which I love. Oof, and that swirl is just so dang satisfying. 
Once it was all blended well, I then poured it into a bowl and as you can see, it's nice and thick and creamy. I topped it with some chocolate granola and then with my acai bowls, I just like to put whatever fruit I have in the fridge on top. At this point, I only had some strawberries. So I just put a whole lot of strawberries on top and this was my very delicious lunch number three for lunch number four we are making a pesto pasta this is something that you can serve warm you can serve cold however you would like it personally i ended up eating this one cold and to make the pesto pasta i first started with some coconut yogurt it might seem like an odd ingredient i know but personally i love coconut yogurt in savory food i then added in some hemp seed oil as well as some basil some lemon, some garlic, some avocado, as well as some sunflower seeds. The full measurements will be down in the description box below. And then I blended that all up. Whilst I was blending it, I also cooked some buckwheat pasta. You can use whichever pasta you would like. That's just what I had on hand. And as you can see, my Vitamix is doing beautiful job of blending that all together whilst my pasta is cooking i also then fried up some chickpea tempeh i really like to have something crispy on top of my pasta no matter what pasta i have so today i went for tempeh then once the pasta was all done and i had cooled it down i stirred through my pesto creamy pasta sauce and then i added on my chickpea tempeh this is a really 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 <laughs> super simple delicious lunch and it kept me really full for a really long time next up we are making cauliflower wings oof these are one of my absolute favorite foods and i basically just made a batter with some almond meal salt plain flour as well as some soy milk and some hemp seed oil uh batter is something that i'm currently mastering the art of but this did turn out really really delicious i then got a whole head of cauliflower and i chopped it up into i guess what you would call wing sized pieces and once they were all chopped up i then dipped them in the batter and from the batter I put them straight onto a baking tray. This is a really, really easy thing to make at home in my opinion and super satisfying and delicious. Once the cauliflower had been roasting in the oven and was nice and golden, I then served it into one of my coconut bowls because I'm just hashtag bougie like that. And then I also served it with some garlic aioli i love cauliflower wings in general but they are even more delicious with uh garlic aioli with them so absolutely love that for me next we're moving on to making some baked oats personally i don't like cooking oats over the stove which is why i like to bake them and at the moment in australia it is summer and all of our stone fruits are coming into season so i chopped up some yellow nectarines as well as some apricots oh two of my favorite fruits in the world so delicious and then in a small bowl i put some oats as well as some almond meal chia seeds coconut sugar and soy milk and then i mixed this all together until it was relatively well combined and then i put in about half of my stone fruits and then mix that all together and then i baked this in the oven for about 15 minutes you can tell it sort of gets like this thick kind of layer on top and it becomes uh, nice and golden as you can see once it was all done i pulled it out of the oven and then i topped it with some more fresh fruit as well as some coconut yogurt and then some peanut butter can't have a sweet breakfast without my nut butter you feel me it's just absolutely so delicious mm. okay let's move on to our next lunch and our next lunch is a roast veggie roll slash sandwich and i'm starting by washing my sweet potatoes now again this is something that you can get creative with you can put whatever you would like to in this personally there is nothing more satisfying to me than a really delicious sandwich with this one i roasted some pumpkin sweet potatoes and cauliflower just in a bit of hemp seed oil and salt in the oven uh, but again you can roast whatever veggies you would like to this is just what i like I then also fried up some tomatoes over the heat because I love grilled tomato on a sandwich. Oh my goodness, so delicious. <laughs> then I combined my sandwich very well by just putting some garlic aioli as well as some greens. I just used spinach today, but rocket would be divine, kale would be divine. Then I stacked all of my 
roasted veggies, put some more aioli on top, and then sandwiched it down to the best of my ability. And then that finishes our week of vegan lunches. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, that is a week of vegan lunches. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and for supporting my channel. It means the absolute world to me. And yeah, I hope you have a really, really beautiful day and I will see you so very soon for another video. Bye.